The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Sure. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They pick up, at the most, four yards on the screen play. The 29-yard line. That makes, that makes it second and six. six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Ready! Green 95. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Caught open field. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. That makes it first and ten. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Ready! Three! And they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike three. Mike three. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I love to see a confident quarterback. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the draw play. made at about the 49. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Gets to about the 47-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. That makes it second and 14. Kill, kill, kill! Now he's flushed, and they got it. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. That'll bring up third and long.
the sack makes this third and very long. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Red two. Go. Throw in left. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle around the 25-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second Mike down, three. five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Check three, check three. Quads, quads, ready. Ready. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Three down, three down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Three. They run left and he'll lose yardage. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. And he is drilled at the 32 yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. And a pickup of about seven. It's a well-designed play to the halfback. And it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He puts it away. And it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He might have a chance. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. Need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 40. Two yard loss for the halfback. Second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 38. Right, Roger, Roger. Watch 14. Red two. Watch 14. Yellow three. <laughs> Yellow three. We played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Brought down at the 37. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. This is a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. This one will fall incomplete. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it.
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He fields the punt at the 16. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Got a man. Watch out here. And he hits him hard at the 30. Number 21 brings him down at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Four down, four down. Zero, zero, Mike three. Here we go. Nice run up the middle. Game seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Mike three. Mike three. Ready. One hot, one hot. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 17. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Ready. Combo, combo, combo. Five. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Check three, check three. Watch, watch, watch. Easy, easy, easy. And he tackles him hard at the 13. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 13. Fires it out. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just throws this one away. Here we go, third and goal from the three-yard line. And he has it on the corner. And they push him out around the one-yard line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, Georgia! And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 79-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 40, and he hauls it in. And they finally knock him out at the 47. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. And they make the stop around the 35 yard line. It's a great tackle at the 
43-yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. it out to about the 30. And he's hit immediately. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the three. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. No big. That brings him second and goal. Ready to kill, kill. Green 15. And he's level at the two-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That makes us 30 and go. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Kill, kill, kill! He tackles him for a loss. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. That brings up fourth and goal. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Texas, ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia is up four. Caught out in the open, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. They're about four yards away here on easy, second easy, down. Easy. Lucky 94. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. George is up by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being, and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. 
please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Caught open field. He's brought down in the open field. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made around the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle at the 47 yard line. Number 94 makes the tackle at the 47 yard line. That makes it second and eight. hit before he can go anywhere. Tackled after a decent pickup. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. From the 28-yard line, second down. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 7-6, Georgia. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Georgia, up a point. Makes it to the 34. That brings up short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Good outside run there. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it second and six. Over the middle. 
middle, got his tight end. He's tackled at about the 37 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. He's got it with room to run. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike three. Georgia Mike with a one-point lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Short of the first down. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 32 yard line. That's good for the end of the yards. That makes it second and six. Quick out to his receiver. Out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of four yards. That'll make it third and 13. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Green nine, green nine. Stepping up, he wants it all. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. The defense looks like they're gonna send in the cavalry on this one. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Georgia is up one. And he can't get away from the pressure. through three quarters now, and still the defenses are shining. Georgia's up by one. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike three, Mike three. Ready. Check, check, Fox two, Fox two. <laughs> I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 14-yard line, third down. Three. 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll get him for a loss. is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 44. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's knocked out of bounds at the 41. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Decent run here, right side. Steps out of bounds at the 36 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays. It's like his own highlight film. And he's been able to get to the quarterback now a couple times as well. You've got to think that one reason they are ahead is because of the boost he's given them. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. And they make the stop right around the 40. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Combo, combo, combo. Ready. Green and five. Green and five. Throws it. Interception. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires it out, and he's tackled at the 37. Gain of two on the play. Okay, just like That'll that. Make just it like second that. Seven. Just like that. Six-yard pickup. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They'll 
bring him down at about the 43-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. Locker set up, and he drops it. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 28. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of one on the way. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Texas is up two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gets out to around the 18. fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. staff and really the entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game, but one thing about them is they're, they're a team, and even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.